this guy had a radio enforcement officer and he was like target achieved and then there was like uh, you, we need to take you with us you are under arrest they came upstairs and then they came into my room can i see your id and and i show them my driving license and then they look at my name mr raja nawan husain she's like you've done toy you have cheated and then we are sending you back to pakistan I was treated like a guilty person without even giving me a chance to prove my innocence in the court. overall system was so ropey that one couldn't rely on the evidence that was being produced i was astonished that the home office should continue to rely on it There was cheating, but a very large number of wholly innocent students were caught up in this, and they ended up with with no money, no qualification, apparently a conviction from the British government for cheating. The the way they've been treated is an utter disgrace. I was found not guilty, and then judge found me a honest, credible man. That was about five years after this raid. Almost five years, yes. That's it cost shocking. me a lot of legal cost and a lot of troubles and depression, stress I've been through. That's horrendous. <laughs>